Hello and welcome to another edition of Dealing TV. I am Hemok and here with me is Mike. And today's topic of discussion is VPN firewalls. So Mike, why don't I first uh, start out by asking what is a VPN firewall? Well, hey, Mark, a VPN firewall is basically a virtual private network. Mm -hmm. And what it does is it allows a remote user to access their corporate or their home network mm -hmm. um, and all the resources right. on that network from you know, a remote location, whether they're uh, in a hotel room or whether they're working from home. So what are some of the, uh, uh, let's say, the applications that, that involve a VPN firewall? Well, there's, there's a few ways to access the VPN device. Okay. Um, in this case, the VPN um, software is embedded in a firewall. Mm -hmm. So the remote user has software on their computer. It's mm -hmm. either um, PPTP is one of the protocols mm -hmm. or IPsec. Um, and these are protocols that will allow the uh, encryption of the, the traffic that's going between. Because, okay. you know, you're going to want to make sure your data is protected mm -hmm. and secure, especially if it's office kind of stuff that mm -hmm. you're... Um, transferring. So you're going to need to to have a device that supports that protocol mm -hmm. on both ends. I see. Um, so again, going back to some of its applications, so mm -hmm. it's really ideal for whether if you're a home user, well, but most likely for small business to corporate users who have um, remote users right. who need to access the uh, main network. Right, so you have the users that are on the remote side that need to access um, the corporate resources, such as like a file server right. um, or the email server, mm -hmm. things that they couldn't access if they had just, you know, taken their laptop from work. You know, I mean, there are certain files that you just can't, you know, right. put up on your disk. And plus, maybe those files are being worked by, you know, other employees in the company. Exactly. Exactly. Constantly get updated. Exactly, like spreadsheets that you know multiple people are using and right. stuff like that. So with a VPN, you're essentially dialing into, or in this case, you're using a broadband connection mm -hmm. to access your company's local network, mm -hmm. just as if you're actually there, um, you know, physically sitting at your desk. I see. So are all VPN firewalls secured? They are all secured. Okay. Um, they they all support a form of encryption. Mm -hmm. um, you know what that is. You know it, it'll depend. There's there's different brands, mm -hmm. um, different types. But you know as long as both sides use the same kind of encryption, mm -hmm. then you know there's this tunnel that mm -hmm. that is created, and and uh, you know you can access the resources that okay. way. Okay. And also speaking in terms of from the um, admin perspective as uh -huh. well as the users. Uh, uh, perspective. How easy is it to configure the device so that the users can access the network? Well, you know, it's going to depend upon the device itself. Mm -hmm. um, but for the most part, setting up a VPN is very simple. Mm -hmm. uh, the basics of it are you, you, you set up you know, the type of encryption that mm -hmm. you're going to use, and you set up a username and password, mm -hmm. the same as you would you know, just setting up a company network mm -hmm. um, so that the remote user uh, we'll use that username and password to get into the local network. Mm -hmm. So, it, you know, it's, it's pretty much as simple as just making sure that the security is the same, mm -hmm. setting up a username, setting up a password, mm -hmm. and then, you know, you're ready to go. And also, in terms of feature sets, it also varies because depending on the size of your company and depending on how many remote users that, you know, require simultaneous access to your network. Right. So, the, the products are very um, specifically tailored? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, some corporations, you know, enterprise kind of uh, networks are going to need more concurrent connections. Right. Um, so you're going to need a larger uh, VPN firewall device that's going to support, you know, maybe 500 mm -hmm. um, concurrent con uh, connections. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have a small office, you know, mm -hmm. you, you might get along with, with two or three or five or, mm -hmm. or whatever. So it really depends upon the flavor of your local network mm -hmm. in your business as to how robust of a VPN firewall you're really going to need. Mm, I see. So I see, like, so that it's, I see it's uh, really great uh, in terms of the usage that you can get out of, you know, even if you're a corporate or a small office. Right. But you could also use this device for homes as well, right? Absolutely. Um, you know, VPN used to be just delegated towards, you know, the corporate mm -hmm. and, and that kind of thing. But the technology has become really commonplace. Mm -hmm. um, it's become very cheap and affordable. Mm -hmm. And, you know, now the, the average home user can go and, set up a VPN with mm -hmm. his home router, you know, mm -hmm. if his home router supports VPN functionality, which, mm -hmm. you know, some D-Link routers do, right. um, 
And, you know, when they travel, you know, let's say they're going on vacation and they want to be able to log into uh, their TiVo, you know, mm. or they want to be able to listen to some of the music that they have on their, um, you know, storage device or whatever it is that they have on their, their mm. local network at home, they can use a VPN connection from the hotel room and, you know, it would just be like being at home. So. Great. And these days, and these, um, these days, you could also use just like by opening up a web browser, uh, typing in the, the correct URL and right. just what username and a password is all it takes, right? Yeah, exactly. So we mentioned before um, the two kinds of, a couple protocols, you know, PPTP, um, IPsec, that, mm -hmm. that are a form of encryption. Well, in those cases, you need, you know, uh, some form of software on your laptop or your device that you're going to access. Mm -hmm. But you can now, they have a, a new technology, it's, it's an SSL connection, which is essentially when you're using a web browser to access a secure site. Let's say mm -hmm. you're, you're making a purchase and, you, you know, w before you put in your credit card number, usually you might see a little lock and key at the bottom right. of your browser. Um, that means you're accessing it securely. The, the data is encrypted. You can now get a VPN that uses that kind of encryption mm -hmm. so that you can use a web browser from anywhere. I mean, you could go to a library and use a web browser to mm -hmm. establish your VPN connection. So it's really, you know, come down to anybody can do it now. Right. So that's how easy it's that's how you know that's how easy it's become. Great. Yeah. Are there anything else that you'd like to talk about? I think that about covers it. Great. Great. So in this episode we've covered the um, what you can do with the VPN router. And if you'd like more information, just log on to dealing uh, dot com or dealingtv.com to get more information. Thank you again for tuning into Dealing TV. Until next time.